entering the symposium to be with Chennai. And as you have seen in the holding slide, we are one of you to listen to the talks that are being given by the Royal College uh, uh, at the Royal College of uh, Physicians of Indra. So we are very happy that we are able to organize this program. We are very happy to welcome all of you here. Uh, today, primary called GRACE. Uh, GRACE stands for Geriatric Rehabilitation and Assistive Care Enterprise. Uh, the background to this is very simple. We have 125 million elders in India today. This number will go to 176 million uh, in not a very long time by 2025. So we are looking at a very large increase in the number of elders in India. The Kerala Health Survey has shown that about 30% to 35% of all elders have got one, at least one chronic medical condition and therefore they have some chronic medical disability. And about half of all those people end up visiting a hospital at least once a year. So we are talking about a very large number of people needing health care. In our own experience, as people develop conditions, chronic conditions, for example, the complications of diabetes, for example, arthritis, the resulting in replacements of knee or hip, for example, stroke, for example, dementia, for example, Parkinson's disease. There are n number of disabling conditions that older people or even people in middle age develop. Many of these conditions make people housebound. So the whole effort of place is to try and take care to the home. Just talk about it briefly. So it is for people, the place is for people across the lifespan who have some form of medical disability. What place does wherever we have a center for a radius of about 10 kilometers around the center, we are able to provide not just about 10 therapy verticals. We have Ayurveda, a uh, full house of Ayurveda treatments. We have natural therapy and under natural therapy, we do acupuncture, acupressure, reflexology, we do heart therapy, we do hydrotherapy, animal advice. So this entire range of therapy is going to be available to reduce reduce lifestyle problems at the at the person's doorstep and we will integrate many traditions. Uh, both modern medicine, uh, the kind of support that people need. You saw in the first talk today that the average number of drugs people are, older people are on is about 8 to 10. So they definitely need a doctor support, but we'll also give them uh, support from many other traditions. Next slide, please. Why? Because the most important goals of treatment as you get a chronic disease are not cured. You are not going to wish away arthritis. You are not going to wish away the complications of diabetes. You are not going to wish away the disability of a stroke. The, the, the role here is to improve activities of daily living. Help people do things that they are not able to do. And also to improve quality of life. And this is the work that we've been doing in private. We have a number of people who come off wheelchairs, who stop being housebound, when we do these treatments. Larita, could we get someone to bring our uh, Grace uh, logo and uh, We have centers now in Ananagar, in Denakai, in Dhruvanayu and Velacheri. For a radius of about 10 kilometers around the center to be able to deliver treatments at home. And obviously we don't intend to stop here. We would like to expand our radius. We would like to expand our centers. So that is a very much a watch to the space. There are two elements to this. Geriatric rehabilitation is one element. The assistive care enterprise is the other element. And I just want to highlight that a little bit. Obviously we offer rehabilitation to the therapies that we are doing. But the assistive care component really is that we were hearing so much about care homes. Uh, in, in the talks that were being given from the Royal College. 
experience in India, even by those who set up palliative care to come and lie in hospital for indefinite periods, even in the end of life. In fact, one of the reasons why palliative care hospitals, people who run them feel they are not viable, is because nobody wants to lie in the hospital and die in the hospital. People want to be looked after at home. And very often, in our experience, the patients we see, they get better when we give them the treatments at their doorstep. Very often, they get the treatments. And very often, the, they are able to educate the patient, uh, which is very, very important because that's far more sustainable than medical professionals landing up on people's doorsteps. So the whole idea of grace is a very strong caregiver education component. We also hope to help people identify, not provide, we will not provide, but we'd like to help them identify good nursing, good supports, and uh, uh, to, to receive very optimal care in the home, which is not just medication, it's not just consultations, but it's also therapy. So the Trident team bring with them the Grace logo, and then we'd like to do a little lap lighting to, to, to launch our new program. Yes, there it is. 